Right now, I am in Ann Strawber and Fife. It is famous for Ann Strawber Chip Bar. And welcome on here to St. Monad. It's actually more now considered, rather than a fishing village, it's now considered a hotspot for tourists due to the cool windmill right in front of me. Welcome here to the first place we're going today. Right now I am in Anstrover in Fife. This is a very cute fishing village which is famous for Anstrover Chip Bar. First, I just want to say that it is amazing that I only live about half an hour out of Anstrover. I come here basically every summer and it's always such a good vibe with a, like a fun fair over there, playing some staying alive and the tide's out, people in the water, it's such a fun beach day vibe here in Anstrover. So over there in the distance is Bass Rock. It's amazing how you can see it because it's actually over beside Berwick and we are nowhere near Berwick. But Bass Rock, interestingly, is one of the most habited areas by birds. Like, I'm sure it's got millions of birds staying on that. That is why it is covered in poop. But, you got a great view over to it. It's looking rather impressive from here. Another amazing thing about Bass Rock, it's quite windy from here, but you can actually travel over to it by boat boat trips going over to it. One day I will get to do it, I just haven't yet, but it'll be quite cool to see all the seagulls, even though I don't like seagulls at all, gannets and puffins. Puffins are really cool, I've not seen any of them yet. One day though, they will be featured on this channel, that is for sure. Anyway, let's get down from here before I fall to my doom. So, most people come to Anstrover because their fish and chip bar is voted one of the shop of the years for selling chippies. So, you know, you can't go wrong with it. I am not a fish person though, so Lauren had the fish and I went for just a battered sausage. But their chips are very nice, sausages are very good quality. It's mainly very special because I'm sure they catch the fish here at the port. So all the fish come nicely fresh in and they just do really good food. So if you are ever in Anstrover, definitely check out the chippy here. It is very, very awesome. There's actually many to choose from, but this one is voted one of the best in the whole of the UK. So you cannot go wrong with that. Anstrover also importantly is one of the areas where you can head out on a boat tour to the Isle of May. The Isle of May is one of Fife's most secretive and secluded islands, which is home to loads of interesting birds like puffins. Something I'm yet to do because it's a little bit pricey, but one day, I say I will be going over to the Isle of May, maybe even May. Why don't we go in May? It's, it's in the name, right? Right? You get me? You get me? Okay, that was such a bad joke. Let's continue on. Anstrover is said to be one of the earliest settlements here in Fife. As in, back in the day, people used to use this place for fishing, ports, and direct links to trading. And there's even still inns from way back in the day, like in the 18th century, 17th century and stuff, still here in the town. Similar to all of the other places I've been in Fife over the last couple of months, Cull Ross, Falkland, all of those. Anstrover is very, very quaint, nice little alleyways. Lovely buildings just dotted around. It is definitely a nice place just to go and, you know, just go for a lovely stroll. And I bet it would look very, very enchanting if you come here at night time. So we just walked through the Commonwealth War Graves. That was really cool. Got some great photos over at the main pier of Anstrover in the main town. That building had seashells. Was it made on the wall? Oh, it looked really, really cool. Anyways, I think that's what's done in Anstrover. So, uh, let's head to our next destination because Fife is full of coastal masterpieces just like this town right here. Save me, I'm 
Welcome on here to St Monad's. This is another seaside town and this one is also very, very picturesque. We're going down to see the windmill right now because, you know, you don't really get many windmills now. It's all like just wind turbines and stuff, but this is very traditional and very cool. So I'm going to go get a photo of it. And it's so lovely to be out here in the summer, guys. As you can see, the sun is just beaming down on my face. It is really hot. It's probably 26 degrees today. This view is made better with the smell of a barbecue. Well, you can say it's better, but actually it's making me quite peckish right now. Oh, I can't wait to have a barbecue. And there's Bass Rock over in the distance. And same with the Isle of May. St. Monans got its name after St. Monans, who was killed in 875 by the Danish, by the Danes, the Vikings, the pesky Vikings. But it's actually more now considered, rather than a fishing village, it's now considered a hotspot for tourists due to the cool windmill right in front of me, which was originally used for salt panning or something, I read. But right now, it's just a nice place to go, snap a few photos off. By the looks of things, there's quite a few static caravans here at St. Monin's, so if you are ever wanting to think of like traveling out to Fife, it looks like this might be a nice place that you can come and stay. Got a nice view over to the Edinburgh region, and you've got a windmill you can go spend your time at. Who wouldn't like St. Monin's as a place to stay for your holly bombs? I'm never gonna call it that again. <laughs> also right beside the St. Monin's windmill, is this impressive outdoor swimming pool. If this was a normal travel vlog, you know, I would probably cut to me jumping in there. But, um, I'd rather not. <laughs> Lying here, so hear me out. So let's run, run, run. Pull me in and take me out. Let's run, run, run around. Hot city haze, cool summer skies. Let's get on. Monin's windmill and I have to say it is very traditional, very old-fashioned and it has an amazing view of the coast of Fife, of East Nook and over at Berwick. The water is so calm today, it's just amazing to be here at the seaside and by reading some of the signs I found out that seals actually come to St Monin's to have their pups and in the water then it's crazy the stuff you can find in the sea but there can also be mink whales and other types of whales roaming under the sea. That is pretty crazy when you think about how much wildlife and like diversity there is here. But we are surrounded by nature and epic views in the land. Or I should say in the kingdom. <laughs> Right now, I'm just taking a stroll down St. Monin's town, and I do have to point one thing out. It is a lot less busy here than it is in Anstrover. So if you are feeling a bit crammed in Anstrover, there's also a nice fishing port here at St. Monin's. So if you want to get away from the hustle and bustle, definitely come here for a nice stroll. So this is quite secluded, 
but you may recognise this place if you are following loads of photographers that live in Scotland on Instagram. This is one of St Monin's most popular photographs. Let me show you why people get lots of photos here and what makes this very, very popular. One thing I didn't realise though is how difficult it is to actually find this. We only noticed it because we climbed up these ladders to take a view over the wall of the pier and we ended up seeing this. I would not have known that but I have seen this many many times on social media so now it's my turn to do what all the top influencers do. here thank you all for watching this video here exploring some of East Nook in Fife it's been an extraordinary day out a very sunny day out and I can't wait to go and do some more because my dad is off this weekend so we're going to be going and doing some more day trips including one very exciting one I'm going to go on tomorrow and you'll see that next week anyway guys if you did enjoy today's video but did enjoy today's video guys please hit that like button and read this about a ton share it with your family and your friends and subscribe so you do not miss any videos including the next one let me give you a sneak peek <laughs>